722 as you're getting ready on your Wednesday morning here as the coronavirus continues to take lives and threaten more. Innovative biopharmaceutical companies in this country are leading the charge to develop treatments and an eventual vaccine. And many of these companies are part of the Biotechnology Innovation Organization. BIL Bio locally, Eli Lilly and Roche and Elenko are members. And joining me now is the president and the CEO of Bio, Jim Greenwood. Jim, thanks for taking the time to be with us here. We understand there is a, a big push, uh, a, a big race that seems like we should feel more optimistic that a vaccine may come sooner than later. Can you tell me what your perspective is on how soon we may get this all important vaccine? Yeah, well, the good news, first of all, thanks for having me. The, the good news is there are about 250 uh, biotechnology companies that are working on trying to develop therapeutics and vaccines right now for the, for the coronavirus. Um, and there are about 300 projects that are going on. So this is a all hands on deck effort where big companies and little companies have joined together to try to come up with solutions. Now, there are two stages to this. Uh, the first is the therapeutic stage, which will come first. In other words, it will take a minimally 10 months, 12 months, 18 months to get to a vaccine. But in the meantime, uh, we need to have treatments so that those of us, when we come out of our houses and go back to work and school and, and play, um, who become infected because, you know, most of us, about 95 to percent of us, when the f curve flattens out, still won't not, will still not have been infected. So um, we'll come out, we may get the, the virus, and we'll need treatments that will be able to treat it before we end up in the hospital and on ventilators and so forth. So that's a lot of work is going into de developing antivirals and antibodies that will help with treatment. The vaccine will come, uh, hopefully, it's not a certainty, but it will come uh, within the next year and a year and a half. And that's when we'll be able to, to inoculate literally eventually billions of people around the world so that we're protected from the vaccine. And we know that you work with uh, pharmaceutical um, companies, not only in, in the United States, but in other countries as well. And there's been a lot of effort to repurpose uh, existing drugs in the market. Do you think that it will come down to using a drug that exists, modifying it, combining it with something else or finding something completely new and we only have a limited time here, so I want to put a timeline to this here. We're hearing reports that perhaps by the end of this year, there might be something ready to uh, administer to patients. I'll let you tackle those two issues. Yeah, I think, I think that there will be uh, therapies available before the uh, end of the year, and it'll be all of the above. It'll be some repurposed medicines that the scientists figure out uh, could attack this virus. Um, it'll be brand new. Uh, medicines using new science like RNA interference. It'll be um, plasma taken from convalescing patients who have uh, cleared the virus uh, that we can then uh, uh, inject into patients. We're already doing that. So um, I don't want to be overly optimistic about the time frame, but um, I do think before the many months are out, we'll begin to have therapeutics that we can use to treat people. In the last few seconds, do you think uh, life will ever return to, to what it once was or will everything be forever modified? What's your vision and when will that be? Well, I certainly hope so. Um, uh, you, you never know with a, with a virus. Uh, there's never been a, a, a vaccine that worked against the coronavirus, but there's never been an effort like this to find one. So I'm pretty optimistic that life will get back to, to normal. Um, but we have to remember that there will be more pandemics and we have to be more prepared in the future. That's why we're talking to you this morning. Jim, thank you very much at the at bio. Thanks for your efforts. Keep up the work, uh, the good work, and hopefully we'll be able to chat again uh, weeks or months down the road. Take care. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Okay.